Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be looking at how can we sign in in Flutter with Google Firebase, Google sign in that we are going to learn, right? So here my project is running right now. So we have to add one package. So we'll go to pub.dev and we'll search for Google sign in. That's the package we are looking for. We'll go to installing and then copy the uh, command for terminal. We'll close that, we'll go to terminal and here we will paste the command and press enter and also the app has also been run. Okay, the dependency is now added. So firstly, we'll make a new text button uh, for the Google sign in and uh, uh, I am making a sized box here to leave the space between the two of them. So in the new button which we will make in that we have to put the function for the uh, Google sign in. So we'll make a text button. We'll remove all those parameters as of now. Android child will be a text widget which says Google sign in. So firstly we need to make a variable here where we will store our user object it will be a late variable because we'll initialize it later in the function it will be of the type google sign in account this will be our type make sure to use the right caps uh, letters the g should be capital s i and a should be capital and we'll name it user obj which stands for user object And make sure to import the package inside the file where you are making the Google sign in function. So since we are signing with in, signing in with Google, this will be an async function. We'll add the await keyword and then the function will come Google sign in. This is a function name. Okay, I did not import the package will run pub get to get the package and now we can import that and after google sign in we'll uh, we'll uh, give the command dot sign in so basically we are signing in with google Google sign in dot sign in and dot then we will get a value from Google sign in function and that value will be assigned to the user object variable here. So value will be equal to user object. This user object will later be used to retrieve the name, email and the photos and all things which we get in the uh, in the Google sign in for that we're making the user variable. So for that, I make a separate video. You can go check it out on the, on the channel page. And yes, that's pretty much, pretty much it for the function for the Google sign in. That's all. So now we'll try running it in the app. And also we have to add a, a navigator push button that where we have to navigate our screen after the sign in with Google. So I'll take it to a home screen which I had previously made already and I skipped the video because it was just a UI part and all. I'll just import the home screen here. And now we'll go to our console.firebase and we'll enable Google sign in for the project. We'll click new project, go to authentication, sign in methods and we'll add a new provider. And we'll hit Google and, and enable that. Make sure that you have added your SHA1 certificates. If you haven't, then I have also made a, a video previously on that. You can go check it out. You can find, find that in the description and also on the i button up there. 
so after the rebuilding the cold reset of the application i'll add my email we'll click, click the button it will ask me to add the email which i did right now so we'll hot restart and we'll uh, hit the button and then it asks me to uh, choose an account i'll choose my email and then we navigate to the home screen and with which means that we did not get any errors and the function was executed successfully okay so our sign in sign in is successful and in the next video we will see that how can we retrieve the uh, name the email and all those photo url things from the uh, from the sign in and that's it for this video i hope you did not get any errors if there were any then just simply uh, ping me on my instagram the link is in the channel page and we'll see you guys in the, in the next one thank you so much bye bye sometimes i struggle in this place been in circles several days never knowing the right way mm, yeah sometimes i struggle in this place people look the other way and